Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This video is in association with Skillshare. I keep on working with Skillshare as they have loads of great classes on lots of different topics. I even gifted a Skillshare membership to my sister for her birthday as she wanted to learn while in lockdown and has a wide variety of skills and interests at different levels. Skillshare was the perfect gift for her as they offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics from painting to logo design, from photography to typography, and from self-discovery to discovering your creative voice. And of course, singing. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule, which is really handy for a busy creative. And there are classes for every skill level. So whether you want to learn something new or already have a knowledge base, there's something for you. Normally, all this is for less than $10 a month, but for a limited time, use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. I chose this guy because my editor, Patrick, really wanted me to do a reaction to him, and he is Enrique Iglesias' dad, and I didn't know that much about him before this, so I thought I would have a little Google, find out a little bit more, and I am really glad that I did. Just close my oh, eyes and I wait And all that I saw when I give you Oh, I love how you can hear his accent with the wide E. Always a dead giveaway for Spanish speakers is I. It's just a little bit wider than often English speakers would do. It's a little bit more towards the E sound that we would go for. He has such a beautiful tone though. I have to tell you some of his life story. He is an incredible man, but I'm gonna tell you in a little bit after we talk about his beautiful vibrato. And everyone asks me, how do you get vibrato? And vibrato is a pain in the butt because it is a symptom of lovely, relaxed singing, balanced singing. So often it is hard. When we chase vibrato, it tends to run away. What we really need to be thinking about is relaxation, finding the most balanced and relaxed way to sing. And that vibrato will just turn up and say, hey, just when you're least expecting it. When I need when I love that scoop. Hold out my head and I died. I never knew there was so much love. Those micro expressions or microdynamics, and I'm calling them microdynamics, but actually they are quite wide. They're going from very loud to very very soft are so important and people don't do that enough going from this quiet breathy place and just building it it's like a constant ebb and flow and it's so important an expression and people completely forget about that Keeping me warm night and day. Day. Miles and miles of space in between us. He doesn't overdo it. But you know I won't be traveling. It's still not big. And he brings it back again. It's cold out, so hold out and do like Oh, that's beautiful. So those hun da da it's like loud soft, loud soft. Nothing is the same level. It's not la na. No, no, no. 
we might get to that point in the song where he wants that lift from it, but still here it's just slowly, slowly growing. Ugh. When I need, I just close my eyes and I'm with you. And all that I saw when I it is like he is singing to someone who's really close to him. You get that real intimate feeling from him because he isn't screaming in someone's face. When I need you, the name of the song says everything. You you don't want to be saying those lyrics at the top of your voice because it just wouldn't make sense in expression. And this is something that people get wrong a lot. They feel like when they're singing, they always have to sing loud. It is not about that. It's about the appropriate expression. And in this case, it is quiet and intimate and reflective and beautiful. It's only There's little crescendos. He's the dynamic king. I love this. But you know I won't be traveling a lifetime. It's cold out, so hold out and do like I do. Okay, I had to stop there. I really wanted to tell you about his life because it's really, really cool. But I love saxophone. I'm a sax player as well. And that was just gorgeous. His life is incredibly interesting. He started out as a professional football player, a goalie, and then ended up getting in a car accident and he couldn't walk for two years in this accident. At that point, to rehabilitate his hands, a nurse gave him a guitar to learn to play. And he found out he had this amazing musical talent while he was learning guitar. And then he became him, selling, how many records has he sold? A hundred million records worldwide in 14 different languages. Incredible. harmonies but actually he's still not overdoing it in volume he's doing something really really great here he is using resonance rather than volume so he is finding a place that has a full harmonic spectrum it has that really warm feeling and those harmonics naturally are loud without you having to put too much energy behind it and then he brings it back to a slightly less a full harmonic place for those quieter moments which feels quite fragile which again is just so appropriate for this style I just close my eyes and you're right by Oh, I love how they're like working together with the sax. Keeping me warm nights and day. I just hold out my hand. Hold out my hand. And I it's so cheesy, but it's so emotional. It's only a bit away when I need you. Beautiful. What a master. He is so good. He's so good at what he does. He's so good at expression. And he doesn't overdo it. It's so good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.